Hello and welcome back. In this video, I will show you how to make a light switch like this. Let's get started. So this here is our scene. We have a point light, a text renderer, and a trigger volume. So the behavior we want is when the player enters this trigger volume, then he can turn on or off the light. And also, as a neat little feature, when he enters the box, this text will become visible, and it will show how to turn on the light. So to do that, we want to use the level blueprint. And to open the level blueprint, we go to the top here and click on Open Level Blueprint. So first we need to add an event for turning on the light and turning off the light. So right click and type in key and then we'll use the letter E for the event and click on this one. So when we press the letter E on the keyboard, we want to turn on the light and if it, the light is on, then we want to turn it off. But first we want to get a reference of the light. So go back to the viewport, click on the point light, and drag the point light from World Outliner tab into the blueprint. Next, we want to drag out of the point light and type in Set Visibility. And we choose the light component visibility. And we need to duplicate this Set Visibility node. And you do duplicate by selecting a node and pressing Ctrl W. Now here we need to drag out of the pressed and type in flip-flop. So the first time this executes, it will execute A, and then the second time it executes, it will execute B. So let's connect A to the first set visibility and B to the second one. And we want to make sure to connect the light component to the target, and we want to check set visibility. So this will enable the player to turn on the light, but he will be able to turn on and off the light anywhere in the level. But we don't want that, we want it only when he comes into this volume. So let's do that. Select the trigger box, then go back to the blueprint, and right click anywhere. Then here we want to add an event, go to collision, and here, click on Begin Overlap, and want to do the same for End Overlap. So as you can maybe guess from the names, Begin Overlap is for when the player comes into the trigger volume, and End Overlap is when the player exits the trigger volume. And now we want to go back to the viewport, select the text renderer, and drag it into the blueprint. And then we want to set its visibility. And we want to duplicate that as well. So now set the target to text renderer. Connect it to the begin overlap and we want to set new visibility to true. So the text renderer is visible when you go into the volume. Now lastly we want to add a gate. I will go over gates in detail in another video, but for now we just need to add it simply by typing gate. And we want to connect it to the E event. Now we want to open the gate when the player goes into the volume, and close the gate when he exits the volume. So now compile and save, and now when we play the level, I cannot turn on or off the light when I'm far away, but when I enter the volume, the press E text shows, and when I press E, it turns off, then it turns on. So that's how you make a very simple light switch in Unreal Engine. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or suggestions, please comment down below, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And let's see if this time we can hit 50 likes. See you soon!